Hello, and welcome to Logos College Online Learning. Uh, today, um, no webcam, no webcam today. I don't look too good today. <laughs> the weather, hot. Okay, um, today, uh, talk about presentation. And I want to talk to you, before we start the, the story message, where we're actually um, giving our presentation, all the words that we say. I want to go back a little bit to uh, visuals, right? And last week, we talked about KISS. And that stands for uh, keep your information short and simple. Right? Today, I want to talk about another acronym that we use for visuals. And that's I E E. Okay. And I E E stands for introduce, explain, and emphasize. Okay. So we use I E E to when when we have a visual like this right here, we use I E E to explain the visual to the audience. And there's a technique. There's a technique behind that. There's a steps. There's some steps we can take. Okay. <clears throat> and there's also certain keywords and phrases and sentences that we can say that are very effective. Right. So introduce, you use words like this chart shows, this graph shows, this picture shows. Say this graph, this line graph shows the number of mobile phone phones sold in 2018. So that's a very simple introduction to this chart right here, to this graph. You can also say here's a graph titled. All right. You can say you are looking at a graph that shows. You are looking at a photo that shows. All right. So these are some words that help you when you do your introduction, right? When you introduce your visual. Next letter E stands for explain. All right, so now you need to explain what the different colors mean, the different colors stand for, right? You need to explain the x-axis and the y-axis. If there's numbers on there, what, what are the titles of each axis? Right. The numbers, what do the numbers, what do the lines mean? If it's a pie graph, what does each section of the pie graph represent? Right. So let's look at this again. Here you go. You have colors, and you have lines, right? The green line represents the number of Samsung mobile phone phones sold in 2018. The red line represents Apple phones. And the blue line represents LG phones. The x-axis are the months of January to December. And the y-axis right, represents the number of mobile phones sold. All right, so you explained right there. The last E is emphasized. All right, so this is the most important part of all uh, visuals. When you're explaining visuals, you, what do you want the audience to remember? What is the most important thing for your audience to remember for each visual? What do you want your audience to remember? Right. Certain phrases like, the important statistic I want to emphasize is... Right. The key points are, what I want you to focus on is, points to remember are, right, let's go back up here. All right. The most important thing I want you to notice, to remember, is that the number of mobile phones sold in 2018 has decreased from January to December. Right. <clears throat> Thing I want you to focus on is 
the decrease, the large decrease in sales of Samsung phones from January to April. So when, when you give this presentation, if this was one of your slides, you, those are things I would emphasize, you know, things that you want the audience to remember. OK, let's take a closer look. Introduce. All right. So you answer questions like, what, what type of visual is it? Is it a graph? Is it a chart? All right. Is it a line graph? I'm sorry, a vertical, <coughs> a vertical bar graph or a vertical graph? All right. Is it a pie chart? Is it a horizontal bar graph? <clears throat> what is the title of the visual? Okay. I I selected some <laughs> I selected some uh, slides from from the homework that I thought were really good. Uh, some of these slides were really nice. Some of them had some things, some minor, small problems that that we can help each other fix, and I'll help you fix some of these problems also. I know a lot of you had questions about what's wrong with my slide, and it's hard for me to, to type in an explanation. All right? So I'd rather explain what, what I was looking for with, with using uh, your slides as examples. All right. uh, what is the title of the visual? The title of the visual is the giant panda. The title of this visual is the number of tourists number of tourists in the top five destinations in the world in 2018. Uh, this is a pie chart. This is a pie chart that shows the percentage of students who choose what majors to study in college. What is the visual about? All right. This visual, this vertical bar graph is about the numbers of giant pandas living in the wild. This horizontal bar graph is about the number of tourists in the top five destinations in the world. So that's what, when you introduce, this is the, these are the questions that you answer when you introduce a slide. E, explain. So when you explain, here are the questions that you answer. What, what do the axes mean? What does the y-axis mean? What does the x-axis mean? What do the different colors mean? What do the numbers mean? Right. And then if there's a legend or a key, we explain the legend or key. All right, let's go back to the first one. What do the axes mean, x and y? Right. The, the x-axis are the years 1977 to 2016. The y-axis are the numbers of pandas living in the wild. Here, let's describe color. Right. The blue color are the percentage of students that choose to major in business management. The yellow color are the percentage of students that choose to study to major in health and wellness. Right. <laughs> Explain the numbers. Right. Numbers. These numbers are, in, are the number of tourists in millions. If you have a legend or a key like this, this is a key, a legend. All right. The purple color, the purple, they are the number of tourists. Okay. Here's your legend over here. The red color are the percentage of students that major, that study for a law degree. The green color are the percentage of students that study for a technology degree. All right, so there we describe what different colors mean, what do the numbers mean, and we also describe the legend and the key and what the axes mean. So that's when you explain your chart. How about the last E? It's when you emphasize. All right, what are the most important points? What do you want the audience to remember? What message do you want to convey to the audience? Right. And remember, to convey is what message do you want to tell the audience in a very effective way that they remember your message? Right. <clears throat> this, this vertical bar graph right, 
is titled The Giant Panda. The x-axis shows the years 1977 to 2018, and the y-axis the number of pandas living in the wild. What I want you to remember, the key point is, the decrease in the giant panda from 1977 to 1988. This caused the Chinese government to propose to put a strict ban on panda poaching. Consequently, in 2004, the number of pandas increased and continued to do so until 2016. The key point I want to emphasize is the decrease in pandas from 1977 to 1988. This led to a strict ban in poaching of the pandas, which consequently caused an increase in the number of pandas until 2000, up to 2016. So when you emphasize a point, What do you want the audience to remember? You want the audience to remember that the number of pandas in 1988 were so low, were so low that the Chinese government had to come in and put a, st a strict ban on poaching. So you can no longer poach the giant panda. And this, another th important thing you can also emphasize is that because of this ban, from 1988 to 2018, the numbers of giant pandas has increased. What message do you want to convey to the audience? All right, let's look at that. this right here. So the message here that you want to show the audience, <clears throat> you want to show the audience that from the reading, it said that Students are choosing to major in technology, healthcare, and business rather than pursuing traditional law and medical degrees. Okay? So what, what you want to tell the audience is that nowadays, okay, not everybody wants to be a doctor or a lawyer anymore. Right? Nowadays, people want to own, be their own boss. They want, they want their own business. Right? There's other jobs now, especially with technology, right? healthcare. A lot, of, a lot of pharmaceuticals, right? a lot of biotechnology companies. And the things that you want to, to show the audience, so you want, like right here, this is very good. Well, <laughs> let's go right here. This is good right here, all right? Clear, clear colors, all right? Here, the audience can clearly see that, okay, more people are going to business management health and wellness and technology, right, 35%, 25, and 15, then your traditional law degree, which is only 5%, right? Or your science degrees, which is only another 5%. Uh, this shows it to here. I like this donut in the middle. That's nice. So here you can again see that a large percentage of students are choosing to study, to major in non-traditional degrees, diplomas. Okay, let's take a look at this first piece of information. Right. So IEE, -E, introduce, explain, emphasize. Uh, your homework last week, was I wanted you to convert information into an effective graph. Right? And the first, first information was about the giant panda. And I gave you some numbers, some uh, statistics, and they were in a paragraph form. And some of you did really, really well. Um, what I was looking for, let's say something like this, OK? And you needed to have a title. The title. The title of a graph is one of the most important parts of, the, it is the most important part of your graph. What is the graph about? All right, so this just says the giant panda. Things we can work on. Um, we can say numbers, population, 
of giant panda, right? Living in the wild. So living in the wild means you're not in a zoo, you're not in a cage, you're not in somebody's house, right? You're out in the forest. So you want to say giant pandas living in the wild. Right? That would be a good, effective title. Um, this, this student did a good job. Uh, labeled the, the x-axis as the year, right? labeled the y-axis number of pandas. Uh, a couple students had it where it said number of panda, thousand. You don't need that because this is 500 down here. It's clear that this is, there are 2,459 pandas. You don't need to say thousand here. But that's fine. Next time, just don't say it. Here, the problem with this one, was that you saw uh, this is too small, right? Giant panda population, people can't read that. The numbers are too small. The title is too small. Right? But this, the bar, the, horse, the vertical bar graph, this is really nice. The 3D, the 3D style, so that's good. Um, back to this one, um, the numbers are big right here, and uh, the audience can clearly see that, so this is good. And she gave, or maybe he, the title, or the key, the legend, what the color stands for, and it's pandas. <laughs> you guys always forget the S. Always forget the S. Pandas in the wild. All right, so let's go I-E-E. -E. Let's use this. Yeah. Let's go, you know what, we did IE on this already. Let's go to the second type of data. All right, so this one was uh, information gathered in the United States for the last 20 years, showing that the majority of students are choosing to major in technology, healthcare, business, rather than pursuing traditional law and medical, medical degrees, all right? So I gave you percentages. And remember, what, what graph is best when you want to show percentages and that was the pie graph. Right? And the pie graph also happens to be probably the most popular style graph. Right? But it's the most effective when you want to show percentages. All right. And let's take a look at this one. Let's do IEE. -E. <clears throat> so you have this. Uh, first, the title, you could say, because your information, it says, uh, show in the last 20 years, majority of students are choosing, da, 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 new college students, okay, are choosing to major in. So you come up here, your title, the way you could fix this title is um, percentage of new college students, preferred majors, or college majors that new college students Prefer. All right, let's do IE on this. Okay. Introduction I. Okay. This is a pie graph that shows the um, the sorry. This is a pie graph that shows the most popular college 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 majors that new college students in the United States are choosing. This information has been collected for the last twenty years. That's introduction. E, explain. The blue colors, each color, each color represents a college major. The blue color represents business management. The red color represents law degree. The yellow color represents health and wellness. Green, technology. Purple, education. Light blue, social science degrees. Orange are students that are undecided. The numbers show the percentage of students from the sample pool. Okay, so you have your E. You explain. Now you want to emphasize. What is, what is the most important point that you see here? The most important, important point that you see here are that most students nowadays, they want to do business management, technology, health, and wellness. And less students, they want to do law degree, become a doctor, right? and less in education also. So you would say something like this. The key points 
to remember are, the points I want to emphasize are that the majority of students are now choosing to major in business management, health and wellness, and technology. And another good way to say it is if you want to show a number, all right, so 35 plus 25 is 60, 60 plus 15 is 75. So 75%, you could say it like this. What I want to emphasize is that almost approximately 75% of new college students are choosing to major in business man management, health and wellness, or technology. Okay. And the next piece of information was this. Okay. And this talked about tourism numbers. And it was according to the United World Tourism Organization 2018, France was still the number one tourist destination in the world with 87 million people visiting the country. Two other European countries made a top five list. Spain, 82 million. Italy, 58 million. The USA was number three with 76 million tourists and China was next with 61 million. Right. So the graph I would have chosen here is this, the horizontal bar graph, because the horizontal bar graph is the best graph to, to use when you're comparing many things to one variable. And your one variable in this case are the number of tourists. And the things are the five countries. Uh, this is a good one right here. What I would work on here is a title. Just say uh, number of tourists or top tourist destinations 2018. That's all I would say. All right, all right let's introduce. IEE, -E, IEE, -E. let's, let's use this one right here. Oh, this one's nice. Oh, really pretty right here. Okay. Top five countries, tourist destination in the world, all right? I, introduce, okay. This, this horizontal bar graph shows the top five countries, all right, based on the number of tourists in the year 2018. That's your I. Your E, explain. The green color shows the number of tourists in millions. The x-axis are the number of tourists in millions. The y-axis are the five, the top five countries that tourists chose to visit in 2018. All right. So you did your IEE. -E. I'm sorry, you did your IE. -E. Now on your last E, your emphasis. Right. What I want to emphasize is that France is still the number one tourist destination in the world. Right? Because here, according to your data, it says in 2018, France was still the number one tourist destination in the world. Right? Uh, other important things that you can emphasize, you could say, uh, what I like to emphasize, the key points are, right? what, I don't want, <clears throat> what I want you to remember is that three of the top five tourist destinations in the world are in Europe, right? France, Spain, and Italy are all in Europe. So it depends on what message you want the audience to remember is what you emphasize. Okay, um, that's it for this video, IEE. -E. Um, when I get back, I'm gonna continue on IEE, -E, but we're actually gonna do it using real world data um, things that affect our lives every day, things that are happening around our lives, okay? All right, uh, thanks for watching. Um, please continue to do your online lessons, watch your videos, and do your homework, okay? Um, ask me any questions you can. Please leave a comment using Google Classroom, okay? Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.